morning students our today's topic is standardization by mid and trial method as we know the earlier methods are methods of standardization are the first method is by taking common factor the second one is by using algebraic identities third one is by middle term splitting method only for quadratic polynomial and the last one is if all the these three methods flop then we use mid and trial method to find the factors of cubic or more than the degree of three <coughs> polynomials so we have to find the factors we use if we flop we uh, couldn't find the, uh, the first method second method third method that is uh, by um, taking common factor by algebraic using algebraic identities and by middle term splitting method if all these three methods flop then only we have to use this method mid and trial method so see nicely this method or to solve any cubic or cubic or more than three degree polynomial by using mid and trial so now we have a cubic polynomial x cube minus 3x square minus 9x minus 5 so see here is there any common factor no x cube in a in x cube and x square you can take x square as common factor but in this two terms there is no any common factor so first method by taking common factor is flopped here by using algebraic identities no any identities followed here so second method is also flopped by using middle term splitting method middle term splitting method is only for quadratic polynomial here it is cubic polynomial so third method is also flopped so now we have to use hit and try method so for hit and try method first you find the factors of constant term first you find the factors of constant term so in this polynomial x cube Minus three x square minus nine x minus five. The constant term means five. So first we have to find the factors of five. So factors of five it could be one, it could be minus one, plus five or minus five. There is four factors of five: plus one, minus one, plus five, minus five. You can write it as plus minus one and plus minus five. After that, substitute each value, each one of the value to the polynomial unless polynomial becomes zero. So put one by one the value of factors to the polynomial. We have polynomial p x equals to x cube minus three x square. Minus nine x minus five. So the first value is plus one. We put in place of x one. One cube minus three one square minus nine into one minus five. One minus three minus nine minus five minus sixteen, which is not equals to. Now put the next value. Next value is minus one. So every time we have to substitute value each one, each by one, one by one, unless the polynomial becomes zero. So next value is minus one. So we put minus one in place of x. Minus one cube, minus three, minus one square, minus nine, minus one. Minus one cube minus minus one square plus one plus minus minus three minus minus plus nine minus five minus one minus three minus four minus five minus nine plus nine plus minus plus nine minus nine equals to zero. So now after putting the value of minus one, the polynomial becomes zero. That's why. Right. For which value the polynomial becomes zero? Minus one. It means x plus one is a factor of the given polynomial. Take opposite side. Here x equals to minus one. What we have 